it's been a great four and a half years. I think this is my fifth year I'm starting. It's been a tough journey, I must say, because when we got into government in 2018, the president was in his second term, and he was just uh, in the process of executing his land reform agenda, which started in 2013, as you know. In the first term, the focus was on national titling, which was basically to increase the number of Kenyans who have title to land. Between 1963, when we got independence, and 2013, we had recorded six million titles. So the president's intention was to increase this number, and I'm happy to report that so far we have uh, 5.6 million of uh, Kenyans, additional Kenyans with title. If you compare, you can see that it's almost matching in just nine years, what was done in 50 years, or more than 50 years actually, because that was even pre-independence. So that was the focus of the first term. In the second term, His Excellency the President wanted to continue the national titling program, so we continued with it. But he also wanted to secure these gains. Why do I say secure these gains? If you are a Kenyan and you own land, you know the challenges in our sector. So the President wanted to make sure that once you have title to land, your ownership is guaranteed. And the challenge we've had is money record building up for almost 60 years now. And, and so what the president asked us to do in the second term is to digitalize Ministry of Lands. There had been many previous attempts at this with, with different layers of success or different levels of success. But between 2013 and, tw and now, 2022, as, as we exit government, I'm happy to report that this is the first successful attempt at digitalization of land records. Why do I say this? Previously, we had just digitized the end process of documentation of rights to land. That is a registration process. But under His Excellency the President's guidance, we've digitalized everything actually in the Ministry of Lands, beginning from uh, all, all the departments of lands, Survey of Kenya, physical planning, all the processes that you require to guarantee your right. So they are on an on integrated platform now, the National Land Information Management System. We f commonly call it Ardisasa. It is live in Nairobi now. We had hoped that we would scale this up to the countryside, but when we started the process, we realized that the layers and layers of fraud and complications of the sector were such that we needed time to unpack and understand the problem. So Nairobi is now live. We hope to fully stabilize it by the time of the transition in August. So we hope that uh, the next administration will continue with this noble goal, which is to digitize the rest of the 46 counties, because we've done Nairobi. It was a pilot county, it's been successful. It has brought to the fore a lot of things that you would otherwise not have known had we not digitized. Now we are able to secure our public lands. One of the things the president tasked us to do is to identify all the public lands as we digitalize and then secure them. So in Nairobi, we have about 2,500 documented public lands. It's an ongoing process. It's work in progress. We continue to document as we, as we come across these public lands. They are now secured. Once it's on the platform, the National Land Information Management System, it is not possible to interfere with it anymore. I think you know the Kenyan, uh, Kenyan uh, palace, land grabbing. It's not possible now in Nairobi to grab public land because we have secured it. We hope that this will be scaled to the rest of the country so that all our public assets are, st uh, are secured for posterity for our children and our children's children. The other thing that uh, the president asked us to do, which we've done successfully, is to align all the laws in our sector with the Constitution of Kenya 2010. Remember, devolution is new. The Constitution came in force in 2010. There are many things which were previously not in the old Constitution, which are now in our current Constitution, such as land use planning. In the previous Constitution, it was a role of the national government. Now it is a devolved function. It means we have to work with our county governments. So we had to change the law. So in 2019, the national uh, the Physical Planning and Land Use Act came into force. The regulations have just gone through Parliament. We are just hoping to pass it through Senate now. Then the law will be fully in force. It means our counties can now fully enjoy the benefits of a devolved land use planning system. The other law that we successfully brought into the fore in 2020 is the Sectional Properties Act of 2020. This act is aimed at securing title to apartments. You know that many Kenyans, middle class especially, cannot afford land, but they can buy an apartment. Previously, it was not possible to have a title to an apartment. Now we can have a title to an apartment. So these are some of the laws we've done. We've done many laws to make sure that what we are doing is, engr is uh, ingrained in the law. So these are some of the things that uh, we did over the last four and a half years or so, which we hope the next administration will continue. And lastly, we have uh, started the process of decentralizing. We want to take all our land records to their home counties so that Kenyans don't have to come to Nairobi 
enjoy services of our ministry.